so today it is Good Friday and I'm in a more rural location today. I'm actually in Morgan and we're at the Morgan Parish Church because we've set up a interactive Easter activity called Stations of the Cross. So a way, it's just walking through the Easter story, but in a more um, creative way. Um, yeah, so because of that, and because we're manning it kind of here in Morgan, I thought it'd be really cool to just draw some of the building, as it's such an old building, and the graves are really quite old here as well so I thought it'd be really good just to sketch and draw in my moleskin and see if I can kind of capture all the different bits of the church and its grounds. Hi guys, welcome to another vlog, although as you can see we're outside um, this afternoon. It has been an entire week since um, that footage you just saw of me sketching um, outside in Morgan. Good Friday. Man, it seems like it has been a while since I've actually vlogged, but things have been going on here and I thought I'd just um, let you know, sorry if I'm squinting, we are outside in the sun, which is really nice, um, but it does mean that you might have me squinting at you. This is a good excuse to kind of get out and about and enjoy some of the sun. Um, yeah, so I filmed another creative conversation this week on Tuesday. I went out to see Alison Bick in her studio in Newquay so that was really cool to see her. You've also noticed that I've put another creative conversation up and that was with Lou Tonkin so I hope you've really um, enjoyed that one guys it was um, a bit tricky to film mainly because I forgot to pack my memory card for the camera and so I ended up filming it on my phone which, yeah, I almost didn't post it because I thought, oh no, quality isn't there. But then I thought, look, I've just got to go and post it. I need to not worry about these things. And actually, um, it's more about her story and about what she says. So I just thought, yeah, just post it anyway. And I'm glad I've done it. So that's good. Also this week, I have been working on my book, my sketchbook, Drawing Paul Levin book. I think I've finally got a front cover that I'm really happy with and I've started now to put together the kind of crowdfunding application so hopefully in the next two weeks it will be live and I will be officially um, funding, fundraising for that project and yeah it's becomes a reality yeah I've also filmed my first audio podcast for my patrons and that was fun I got to, I just decided I'll go and walk and talk and that was probably the best way for me to um, do it because I find when I'm walking that's when I tend to remember everything rather than just kind of standing 
and talking I find yeah this is like a bit harder for me but actually just walking and talking into a microphone I found came a lot more easily and also I was able to um, upload it quite quickly so if, if you do want to hear more regularly about my week then go over to my patreon page anyway yes uh, other stuff that's going on we will be moving again soon in about just over a month's time if you have been following my vlogs you'll know that last year we moved to Port Flevin and that was for the winter and now the winter season well is up and um, spring is definitely here so we will be moving at the end of May so it means at the moment we are trying to find another property to move into so as you can imagine it's a little bit um, stressful to do that so we have viewed quite a few properties already we've got another two this week to look at so I'm really hoping that we find somewhere that will be big enough and also in the right location because we want to be more on the lizard um, rather than outside of the lizard so we'll see how that goes Oh, and also I've started, we started the 100 day project. Again, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this because it would mean another spending more time um, doing something, but I decided to make it really simple for myself and just be an alphabet. And I will try and post every day, but if I don't, it's okay. And I will just kind of do the whole of the alphabet, which I know is only 26 letters and 100 day project does tend to mean 100 days but I think what I'll do is I'll start maybe another alphabet after I've completed one and see how it goes so yeah I hope you guys are well and I think that's you all caught up remember if you want to follow along with what's going on I tend to post mainly on Instagram and I'm now posting more regularly on my patreon page so that i can you know build up some kind of community over there as well so yeah for now though i will sign off here and speak to you again soon guys bye when spring is coming